Hi, I'm Abhishek Sankararaman, and today I'm going to be talking about our paper, Social Learning in Multi-Agent, Multi-Arm Bandits. This is joint work with Sanjay Shakotai, who is at UT Austin, and where I was as a PhD student while I did this work, and Ayalwadi Ganesh, who is at the University of Bristol. Uh, this paper is about the multi-arm bandit problem, which is a canonical model to understand explore-exploit trade-offs associated, associated with online uh, sequential decision-making. Uh, uh, a classical example, which was first uh, studied by Thompson in his paper in 1933, is that of clinical drug trials. Suppose there is a set of drugs with a priori unknown cure rates. Uh, which uh, and uh, and this induces an explore exploit trade off where each time a, a new patient walks into the doctor the doctor could either prescribe a drug that has shown the best promise so far or try and explore a new drug with the hope of discovering better alternatives which also which runs the risk of not curing this particular patient so this uh, is now known as the classical explore exploit trade offs associated with online decision making and the multi-arm bandit problem is concerned with this study. Another example of the explore-exploit phenomena, and one which would be important to our paper, is that of online advertising on internet search engines. Every time a user goes into a search engine and types in a query, the search engine decides to show a few, of, from a few ads from a huge catalog of ads that it believes is the most relevant to that query. The search engine a priori does not have a full information on what are the relevant ads and it has to learn them over time as it makes decisions. In particular, when a new search query comes, it could either exploit and show the set of ads that has worked well in the past or try to explore and show ads that has been showed a few times in the hope of discovering a more relevant advertisement. This uh, today is a very important problem as online advertising uh, occupies at least 6% of US GDP. So with this background, this is going to be the outline of my talk. I'll first introduce the single agent multi-arm bandit problem uh, and discuss what some known classical results. And then I will motivate our problem setting of the multi-agent multi-arm bandit. I will then give our social learning algorithm and conclude with some insights. The multi-arm bandit problem or the single agent multi-arm bandit problem consists of a decision maker or an agent who repeatedly makes decision over a time horizon of capital T. At each time T, the decision maker chooses one out of k possible alternatives also called as arms. And after making a choice of an arm at a time, it will receive a stochastic reward, which for simplicity we assume here to be binary, where the probability that xt is 1 is equal to a, a parameter that is governed, a parameter of the arm choice made and is independent of everything else, and in particular, independent of all past choices. The goal in such a setup for the agent is to choose arm so as to maximize the total expected reward. This problem is, of course, challenging because the arm parameters, or the arm means in this case, are not known a priori to the agent. However, as the agents play, place the arms and collect samples, it can learn the estimates or it can learn the uh, arm parameters. And this thus captures the explore-exploit trade-off. An agent at each time could either play the arm that, it has, that has seen the best promise so far, or it could play another arm that has been played few times in the hope of discovering if it is best. The way, uh, the classical way to measure the performance of any such decision-making algorithms is known as is through the notion of regret, which is the difference between the expected rewards collected by the agent and that of an oracle that knows of all the true arm means and thus will always play the best arm or the arm with the highest arm mean at all instances of time. Regret thus captures how much loss and reward is due to the lack of knowledge and uh, thereby quantifies the explore exploit trade off. So the, the many algorithms have now been proposed for the multi-arm bandit problem. And the one that is particularly important to our work is known as the upper confidence bound or the UCB algorithm, which first appeared in the paper of our et al. The algorithm works as follows. At each time little t, the, uh, the agent constructs an index for each of the k arms and then chooses the arm that has the highest index. The index of an arm is the sum of its empirical observed means thus far 
and as an extra exploration term that varies inversely proportional to the number of times the arm has been chosen. This trades off explore and exploit where because if an index of an arm is large, if either its empirical mean is large or if it has been played a few number of times and thus boosts exploration. An analysis of this algorithm was also given in that paper and it was shown that the regret of this particularly simple algorithm is order k o by delta log t where delta is the difference in the r mean between the best and the second best r. So these, this algorithm and the setup so described thus far concerns just a single agent making decisions. In this paper, we are interested in a scenario where there are multiple agents that play the same MAB instance where they can potentially collaborate with each other and jointly reduce their individual regret. Okay. A, an, a motivation for our work again concerns the example of online advertising. One could model the online advertising as a multi-arm bandit problem where each time a user searches a query on a search engine, it gets routed to an ad server, which then chooses one of, say, one of k possible advertisements to show, and then collects a stochastic reward depending on the feedback of its choice. And thus, one could model the advertising, uh, online advertising as a multi-arm bandit problem. However, in reality, it is seldom the case that there is a single server making decisions. Rather, most internet search companies employ a collection of different servers to make these decisions. Usually, a, a huge collection of servers are employed just to handle the scale and volume with which new, ser new search results come. Thus, in reality, when a user searches for, uh, on the search engine, the search is routed to one of these servers through a mechanism that is independent of the learning algorithm, and that server to which it is routed to then makes the decision of which ad to show and then observes the stochastic reward. As all these servers are typically managed by the same organization, one could then hope that the servers could collaborate with each other in order to learn from each other's experience. Okay, now let's try to understand what is possible or this real, uh, this picture a little bit more clearly now. To do so, let's consider the regime of a large volume of search queries. Under this regime, it's, we can assume that at each time, every server makes a decision on which ad to show and collects stochastic reward. Or said differently, there is the number of search queries that come are so huge that, that every server receives a query to, uh, receives a, uh, uh, a, needs to make a decision on an ad to place at each time instant. In such a scenario, one could imagine two baselines. One, where there is no communication between the servers, where each server is playing a multi-arm bandit problem by itself, and thus each server incurs a regret of order k by delta log t. In doing so, however, there are no communication resources used because servers are never talking to each other or coordinating with each other. On the complete other extreme is that of full interaction. Under this setup, after each time a server makes a decision and observes a feedback, it could broadcast that information to all other servers in the network. Therefore, every server could potentially learn from the all the past experiences of all the servers. One can show that under full interaction, that the entire system proceeds as though a, it, like a single virtual agent playing the multi-arm bandit problem and that virtual agent incurs a regret of order k by delta log t. As there are n total servers in the system, the, any, the regret of any one individual agent then scales as order 1 by n times k by delta log t. So which is a dramatic reduction in regret. However, in order to achieve this reduction, the communication resources used, used is huge. Each server broadcasts a message for each time it makes a decision, which in, in the scale of modern day uh, systems could be impractical. Thus, our research is to understand the trade-off between these two extremes, and in particular, understand if one can in some sense get best of both situations, namely, get reduced regret due to collaboration and thus improved statistical performance, 
at, at minimal communication resource cost. Now with that, I would now want to go on to the to formally define the multi-agent, multi-arm banded problem that we study. Our problem consists of k arms and n agents and it features an asynchronous system whereby the system evolves in continuous time and associated with each agent is a Poisson point process clock where, uh, when it uh, and each agent takes an action whenever its clock rings. Such asynchronous continuous time system is meant to model the asynchronous arrival of user requests in large server networks. A picture of this asynchronous system is shown in the figure below where the vertical uh, axis represents the different agents and the horizontal axis represents the clocks associated with these agents and the bubbles represent the uh, instances at which the clock rings. So concretely, each time a, a clock rings for agent J, it needs to take two actions. One, as before, it needs to choose one of K possible arms to play and thus and receive a stochastic reward denoted as X sub J of T, uh, which is binary value. The probability that X J of T is equal to one is only dependent on the arm parameter, only dependent on the parameter of the arm chosen and is independent of the choices of all other agents and of itself in the past. The second crucial uh, decision to make at each clock instance is that an agent can choose to send information to any other agent of choice. This step is how agents can collaborate in our uh, in this problem. It, when under such a setup we seek decentralized algorithms, namely the choice of arm or uh, and the choice of whether and what to communicate is only a function of an agent's observed history. Such algorithms are desirable in practice, especially when servers can routinely fail and new servers need to be added and doing so can be done very easily. The goal as before for each agent is to minimize their individual regret. In this setup, we, we place three communication constraints to capture the essence of the multi-agent problem. One is pairwise communication, meaning each time an agent communicates, it can do so with only one other agent. Two, each message on each time an agent communicates a message, the total number of bits used must be fixed. In particular, agents cannot communicate real numbers of arbitrary precision, or the total number of bits cannot also depend on arm gap or other parameters of the instance. And three, the total number of times an agent can initiate such pairwise communications should be very small. This constraint is motivated by uh, th this applications in search engine advertising where each server gets a huge volume of search queries and thus needs to make a, a huge number of decisions, uh, a huge number of arm pull decisions per unit time. However, if they communicate as frequently as they make decisions, it will completely clog up the, congest the server network and therefore is not a desirable solution. And thus we seek algorithms in which agent communicates much fewer times than it pulls arms. So with this problem set up, we look at what so, uh, algorithms that have been proposed in the literature to solve multi-agent banded problems. Broadly speaking, the multi-agent banded literature can be classified into two. One, where agents are competitive, which means unlike our setup, they choose arms to selfishly maximize their individual reward and the models studied there typically involve where if multiple agents pull the same arm, then no one or only a subset of them get rewards. On the other hand, the, the literature in collaborative agents is very different from our setup where the canonical model there assumes that agents can exchange all samples, namely agents can exchange the arm pulls and the stochastic rewards collected with other agents and this is crucially used in their algorithms to derive regret. In our paper, this paradigm is not feasible as we cannot share samples because of communication constraints. And thus we propose a, a, a new collaborative learning algorithm. Here's a preview of our main result. 
we give a new social learning algorithm where the regret of any agent scales as order k by n plus log n times log t by delta plus an additive constant that is independent of time. Under our algorithm, each agent communicates only about order log t times. Each communication exchanges just exactly an arm id and thus order log k bits and not any samples. And moreover, agents whenever they choose to communicate do so with only another agent chosen at random and thus is gossip style and easy to implement. So in order to understand the result better, we tabulate it and compare it with our baselines. And for simplicity, let's assume that the number of arms k equals to n. So therefore, the, system, the, the setup is parameterized by one parameter n. In this case, we see that our social learning algorithm obtains a per agent regret of order log n times log t by delta, which is much smaller than the order, log, order n log t by delta, which is obtained by the case of no interactions. Moreover, in order to achieve this reduction in regret, it only uses a per agent communication resources of order log t, which is much smaller than t communication resources used by the full interaction setup. Thus, one of the main messages in this paper is that even a minimal collaboration helps in reducing regret. In the remaining uh, time, I am briefly describe our algorithm and the key ideas involved in it. Our algorithm uses two features. One is agents use communication as a means to recommend arms. Thus, each message is exactly log k bits long and, uh, and agents at each point communicate their estimated best arm. And two, agents at all time will only play from an active set of arms and not all possible k arms. Initially, before the algorithm executes, every agent has a very small set of active arms of cardinality k by n plus one, such that the arms are allocated to the, the active arms are allocated to active set of agents that form a partition namely every arm is present in either one or very few number of agents to begin with as active arms we show in a paper that even in a decentralized fashion such a partition can be achieved with high probability and then the set of active arms that agent plays with grows with time as it receives more recommendations Namely, uh, a new arm becomes active for an agent if it receives it as a recommendation from another agent. Uh, our algorithm, here are the details of the algorithm. Our algorithm has two phases, an early phase followed by a late phase. The early phase of the algorithm has m subphases, each of which has l arm pulls. In, in each subphase, agents just play from the set of active arms in a round robin fashion. And at the end of L, L arm pulls, it agents communicate the arm that it has the, the arm with the highest estimated empirical mean. Therefore, the early phase is a pure exploration process without regret minimization. In contrast, the late phase is a regret minimization phase, and it is also organized into phases where each phase now increases doubly exponential in length. In each phase, agents play from the active set of arm according to the UCB policy and the communication protocol is as follows. In the first two to the i, namely the first uh, two to the i arm pulls of phase of the ith phase in the late stage, agents will communicate the same message, namely the arm that it experienced to be, it played the most in the previous phase to all other agents where each time it chooses another agent uniformly and independently at random. With this, the formal theoretical guarantee we are able to give is that if the parameters m, l, and t naught are chosen in an appropriate way, depending on epsilon, which is a non-trivial lower bound on delta, then the regret scaling of uh, any agent i in our algorithm is as given before. And moreover, as you can see, the total number of communications is lo scales logarithmically in time as it is dominated by the late phase, uh, as the total number of communications is dominated by that in the late phase. The proof ingredients follows by the following observation. We note that with high probability at the end of the early phase, every agent's active arms will contain the best arm and the total number of active arms is tiny, which is at most order log n plus k over n. Recall that the best arm is initially with only one or two agents 
and as uh, and as t uh, time progresses it has spread to every other agent while the total set of active worms is remaining time furthermore with high probability in the late phase no agent set of active worms ever increases and we show that every agent will always communicate the best arm in all of the uh, infinite future communications thus our algorithm can be viewed as uh, effect each agent effectively playing ucb from log n plus k by n arms and we give an illustrative empirical performance where we see that even uh, our the performance of our algorithm is sandwiched between the two baselines and it works well even if epsilon exceeds delta giving some robustness properties with this i want to conclude my talk where we proposed a new collaborative multi agent multi arm bandit setting and gave a social learning algorithm uh, based on gossiping that worked well because it amortized the exploration cost among uh, agents in the network.